Well, hi there, I'm Noah Bradley and this is Handmade House TV. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to properly trim the windows and doors of our log cabin. So stay tuned. Well, all right, welcome back to Handmade House TV. And again, on today's episode, we're gonna talk about that most critical aspect of the construction of our log home, and that is properly installing our window and door trim. Uh, there are three uh, wonderful benefits of doing it properly, of doing it as well as what we can, and one of them is just the overall attractiveness of our home. Uh, properly installed, it adds to the beauty of our home, improperly installed, and one gets the impression that the overall house, that little care and little craftsmanship was put into it, and uh, so it'll deg degrade the overall appearance of a home. Uh, the second reason to do it is comfort level within your home, and that is that uh, the areas around our windows and doors are often the areas where uh, air infiltration will occur. And so if you, if you focus on doing window and door trim properly, you'll cut down on this and you'll, uh, you'll save money and energy and your home will be more comfortable. The final reason to put in, uh, in uh, window and door trim properly uh, is durability, and that is that if you do it wrong and you uh, and uh, you try to patch it or make do with it in some way or another, uh, that that overall it won't last as long. It'll be more you will require more maintenance, and you'll have more issues with it, and perhaps you'll end up having to replace it in not too distant future. And the most critical aspect, the thing that I see most individuals do wrong when it comes to installing the window and door trim, is that they leave a gap between the trim and the logs. Uh, that uh, the trim is actually floating out beyond the face of the logs and so the, the temptation comes in where people want to just they want to caulk in between the trim uh, and the logs which it, which looks horrible and this particular area tends to because the, the the chinking is so small it tends to fall out and and uh, and then it, it only gets uglier with time going by so the the proper way to install a window and door trim is to make sure that the trim, uh, wherever it encounters the surface of the logs, that it, uh, that it meets the surface, that there's no gap between the two. It seems like common sense, but it's amazing how many people do that. And here's a, an image of, uh, of someone that sent me in a, a photograph, and you can see exactly how this is done incorrectly. And, Typically when I trim out a log cabin, I will use material around the windows that matches the logs themselves. I want the trim to kind of blend into the log cabin. I don't really want to stand out aesthetically. However, I have found, such as in this photograph here, uh, times where I will use painted trim, uh, which will match the exterior trim or siding on the log cabin itself or on, say, an addition that comes off of the log cabin. And I find it looks very attractive as well. The one thing to always keep in mind with regard to the trimming of our of our log cabin, doing the trim work on the exterior, is always do your trim work before you chink. Never do it the other way around. You always want to apply your chinking to your trim work. You don't want to go to the trouble and fuss of trying to figure out how to scribe fit your trim to your chinking. Now the trim that I want to use to trim out the door on my little log shed that I've been building for you guys, uh, if you recall, I found it at the local landfill. And so the first step that I needed to do was to denail it, to remove all the nails from it. And then I took it over to my table saw to rip it to the proper width. And then I took it over to my sliding compound saw where I cut each piece to length. So once I got all the pieces of trim properly sized, it was time to load them onto my truck and take them out and install them on my log shed. So let's go there now. Nick is going to be installing the door ch uh, trim today and I've sized it and it looks like I've gone a little bit less than four inches. Typically uh, three and a half to four is typically what you want to do uh, in order to do it. And uh, in going through it, since we're using salvage material, first thing that Nick's going to do is he's going to 
look through the pile and uh, pick out the most, the, the, we're, we're, we'll start with the best possible pieces that are, are available in all this stack. And uh, one thing in particular that I don't like are uh, our shadow lines are where this board was nailed to something and thus I had a different patina develop here and here. And basically this is never going to equal out. So I always want to put uh, shadow lines whenever possible to the back and, and cover it and use this pretty face uh, here. This is actually a fairly nice board. And so we'll, Nick will go through all of those. I'm going to try not to kill myself in the process of moving things around. Uh, when we install uh, the trim, uh, I always, if this is the finished jam, and again on this particular cabin we're using the rough jam as a finished jam, I always like to hold my trim back for what's known as a reveal. Uh, I, typically I like a, a quarter inch and maybe a hair bit more than a quarter inch reveal. It makes it look more attractive and to get something flush is almost impossible and to be go beyond flush is, is bad. Uh, so in order, to, in order to trim out the log cabin, the first thing we do is select a good material. We uh, focus on the fact that we need a quarter inch reveal and then we bring in the trim and we go ahead and we put it up there temporarily and we tack it in place just to, perm just to temporarily hold it in place and then we come in with a pencil or a utility knife and we scribe a line uh, exactly where that trim meets the log and we want to be as exact as possible the more exact we are the prettier our finished work will be and then after we have that we, we pull the trim back off and then with the, with the drawn line we have, then we'll take uh, either a saw, and typically I've always used a skill saw, uh, but nowadays you can use an orbital random, what are those new kind of saws called, the, the really sweet little things. Uh, I'll edit the video and put that in there, <laughs> uh, because I'm, I'm drawing a blank on it, but there is better saws that can give you even more accurate, less of a little bit of a sway as what a skill saw will have. And so you want to cut into the surface of the log just enough so that what you're going to come, what you're going to do after you finish the cut, you're going to come in with a chisel on the side and you're going to blow out whatever extends uh, beyond the surface of this. So you're more or less extending this smooth, perfect plane all the way over to the trim so that when the trim go pops back up, she pops up there perfectly level. That's what you're after. So Nick's going to demonstrate how to do this, and it's going to look sweet when we get done with it. So, so have at it. All right, sounds like a good one. Well, all right, there you have it, how to properly install window and door trim on your log home. I hope that you go to the trouble of doing it right. It's not much harder to do something right than it is to do it wrong, and you'll be so much more pleased with the end result. If you're interested in learning how to properly build your own log cabin from beginning to end, simple steps just like what's in this short video today, please come see me over at handmadehouses.com and consider signing up for the Log Cabin Academy. There's, there's no other course quite like it. I've been building log cabins for decades now and I really got it down just like I do in this video today. Once again, I'd like to thank each and every one that tunes into with, onto these, uh, this series here on Handmade House TV. And I look forward to seeing you next week. I've got something really great planned for you. So we'll see you then. Thanks again now. Bye now.